Hello friends, welcome back to CAD Practice. Today we are going to construct a hopper design in Autodesk Unit Sheet Metal. In this tutorial, we will learn how to construct a sheet metal hopper. We have constructed this part in three subparts: the top flange, bottom flange, and the main hopper. Okay, so let's get started. We will start from the bottom flange. Okay, go to new. Take a sheet metal part in millimeter and go to create. Here, take a 2D sketch. Select the exit plane. Rotate the view. Take here rectangle command and take two point center rectangle. From this center point, make one rectangle here. Go to dimension. Define this dimension as 600. Okay. And define the height also. 600. Now take offset, select the profile, drag it inside, take offset of 50 mm and finish sketch. Now here go to face command and select this profile and press OK. Okay. Now go to sheet metal defaults, uncheck this and define the thickness of 5 mm. Okay, that's okay. Now we are going to make the mounting holes. Select this face, go to create sketch, rotate the view, take circle command, and make one profile here. Go to dimension and give a dimension of 20 dia. Now from top, the center will be at 25 and from side this will be 25 okay now go to a rectangular pattern select this circle go to direction 1 and here select this profile and here we will take a count of 6 and the center to center distance of 110 now go to direction 2, select this profile, take count of 6 and take center to center 110. Flip the direction and press OK. Finish sketch, go to 3D model, extrude, select all the profiles and here take cut. We are going to take the cut of 10 mm. And press OK. OK. Now, here we'll define the appearance. We'll take here aluminium polished. OK. And save this part. So, this is previously made profile. Go to new folder. OK. Double click. And here I'll save it as bottom flange. Bottom flange and save ok now we are going to make the other part go to assembly one now we are going to construct the top flange ok go to new take a standard part in millimeter or you can take the sheet metal part in millimeter and go to create now here take a 2d sketch select the top plane the exit plane rotate the view Take circle command from the center point, make circle of diameter 530 mm. From same center, make diameter 430 mm. Okay. Or escape, make it as 432. Now finish sketch. Here, take face command, select this profile, press OK. Again, go to sheet metal defaults, uncheck this and take a thickness of 5 mm and press OK. OK. Now select this face, go to create sketch, rotate the view, go to circle command from the center point, make here diameter 480. OK. Take here circle command, make diameter 20. <coughs> go to vertical constraint, 
select the center point and select the center. Now escape, select this circle, make it construction and finish sketch. Here go to cut command and cut this profile up to thickness of 5 mm and press ok. Now take circular pattern, select this circle, go to rotation axis, select this axis and here take account of 12. Press ok. And here we will define the appearance. It will be also aluminum polished and save it. Save it as top flange. Okay, save. Now, here we are going to make the main part the hopper. Go to new, and here we are going to take a sheet metal part in millimeter. Go to create. Now take a 2D sketch and here select this plane, the exit plane, rotate the view, take here circle command, from this center point, first ok, we will take rectangle first, take two point center rectangle, from this point we are going to make a rectangle, go to dimension, here define the dimension as 500 and this also as 500 and finish sketch now here go to plane take offset from plane and here go to origin and select the exit plane take offset of 510 mm ok and press ok now select this new plane go to create sketch Rotate the view, take circle command. From this center point, make circle here of diameter 430 and finish sketch. Select this plane, right click, turn off the visibility. Now, here we will take lofted flange, select this circular profile, select this rectangular profile, and a, a with this, we will make a flange profile and press OK. OK. Now, here, uh, OK, double click this. Front view, this profile should be inside the circle profile or the, prof uh, or the sketches we have made. So, we will click here, flip side. OK. So, you can see now, now the sheet is inside the profile. OK. From here and here. Now press OK. OK. Go to Home. Now go to Sheet Metal Defaults. Uncheck this. Define this thickness as 1.5. Press OK. So the thickness will increase inside. OK. Now here we will cut this profile into half. Select XY plane. Go to Create Sketch. Here. We will make a profile bigger than this. Go to rectangle, take two point center rectangle, make one rectangle profile, go to dimension. Dimension will be more than this. Take 50 from here. Okay. And here define this as 600 and go to vertical constraint. Select the green center point and select the center point okay now go to dimension from bottom also we'll take 50 extra finish sketch take here cut and here for distance or we will take all so we'll cut through all from one side and press ok okay so we have taken the half of the profile we have taken the half profile or the construction of this hopper, if you uh, consider it as per industry, as uh, when you are making a design, so it will, should be feasible to manufacture also. Okay. Now for this, when we go to create flat pattern, so the flat pattern will be generated. So these are the bending. Okay. Go to folded part. 
now we'll save this save is this as the flange or the hopper you can say hopper okay now we are going to generate the assembly go to new take a standard assembly in millimeter and go to create okay now here go to place go to new folder select the bottom flange first open and place it over here escape rotate the view okay and we will work in this view now go to origin so this is origin of assembly and go to bottom flange go to origin so this is origin of bottom flange okay select yz plane and select this yz plane go to constraint and press apply exit plane and exit plane apply xy and xy apply so when we do the third apply it will ask you to edit the relationship and we'll click on flush and apply exit okay now this is constraint so this will be the fixed part now go to place again now this time we'll call the top flange open and place it over here escape okay and go to place again and we'll call the hopper also open place it over here and escape okay now go to view Visual style change into shaded with edges and this light will change to gray. Okay, go to assemble. Now, here we'll work with the hopper now. Go to hopper folder origin. Okay, we'll make a movement here visor plane of hopper and we'll select the visor plane of the assembly. Go to constraint. Okay, you can flip the direction through flush or you can make it this also. Okay, and apply. Now you have constrained the YZ plane. Okay, now select the exit plane of the assembly and select exit plane of hopper. Now click here on flush, apply XY plane of assembly and XY plane of hopper. So there is no movement now. Here click on mate and apply. Exit. Now you can see this is constrained properly. Go to right view. You can see this movement also. Okay. So we have to move it. Move this a little bit upside. Okay. So for that go to home. Okay, we have to rotate this and click on this view. So here you can see if you want to make the so this is at the end point of this flange okay I want to shift the flange upside by 5 mm so I'll select the bottom flange click here select the mate so this is the middle mate so this is the bottom mate, mate. and click here so this is for this plane weight okay i want to shift this flange upside so i'll double click and give a distance of 5 mm enter and when i take the right view now now you can see this is at the end point of this flange okay so we have just inserted the bottom flange inside okay Go to this view. Now here I want a mirror of this. So go to mirror, select this component, and here go to mirror plane. You can select the XY plane. So it will make a replica of this. It will ask you the mirror uh, uh, relationships and ground the new component. So the grounding means there will be no movement with the component next and press ok ok now there is no movement 
you can see a different symbol on the cursor when you do a ground grid. And when I come to this, there will be no symbol. Okay. So that is also uh, uh, you can find out which is the mirror or the grounded part. Okay. Now we will constrain this. Go to constrain again. Why is it? And go to top flange folder origin and why is it? Apply. Now escape. Now we will drag the top flange upside. Drag it up. Okay. Select this corner and select this. Okay. Go to constraint and here select the YZ. Okay. So this is the YZ will be the bottom of this flange. And here will select this bottom and give a distance of 510 mm so it is going downside so i'll give a minus distance so it will come up okay so it will come up to here so here also we have to minus 5 mm okay so we'll take 505 mm so this will get inside the hopper will be inserted within the flange and press apply okay go to home or just rotate this view click here now here we have this moment left exit this this moment is left so we'll constrain this moment the xy plane of the assembly go to constrain and here take the xy plane and press ok now you can see there is no movement there is no movement here there is no movement with the hopper so this is fully constrained assembly of hopper in autodesk in inter software so this was a basic tutorial to how to construct a hopper assembly in autodesk in inter software i hope you like the video if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you